Welcome everyone to this week's video. Today we are on Fish Friday number 105 and we have a good one for you today. Today's fish is one of those fish that's just a monster. People know about this fish. If you're a fan of the show River Monsters like I am, you're going to know exactly what this fish is. Today's fish that we're going to be talking about is... Bam! The Wells Catfish. So the Wells catfish, or scientific name Silurus glanus, again that is Silurus glanus, it is part of the family Siluridae, which the Siluridae is the family of catfish that occurs across a lot of Europe and Asia. Um, they have some pretty distinct characteristics, such as elongated anal fins and situations like that. Um, other than that, they're kind of your typical, um, typical type of fish. Yes, these would be the type of catfish that you would catch by noodling uh, or by hand fishing. Now, in terms of where they're native, they are native to um, the Europe, Eurasia. So, you know, the centroid of um, central of Europe and Western Russia, Eastern Europe, things like that. That seems to be where they're very common. Um, but they've been in introduced into other places. You can see introduced populations here and here. They're in, they've been introduced all over Europe and Russia. Um, and in fact, some of their non-native ranges are very, they're very common um, and very important actually. There's the River Ebro in Spain that I know of. And I believe a couple of years ago, that's where the World Catfish Championship was held. Um, has a lot of very large Wells catfish. Um, they're also found in, just a little interesting tidbit, they're that catfish that people have found living in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant cooling lakes. Um, yes, noodling the American uh, concept of hand fishing for catfish is called noodling. Um, so anyway they're found in nuclear power plants lakes and no they're not radioactive they don't grow to monstrous heights and they don't grow weird heads or anything like that they do grow very large but that's because tourists actually feed them a lot um they get a lot of um a lot of outside feeding from tourists and kind of tour speaking of tourists they're very popular as you can tell very popular um, angling fish. People love to catch these things. They're big. They're fighters. Um, so people love to fish for these. Um, in terms of where you can find these, these are really found in your deep, slow-moving rivers, large, warm lakes, um, really, um, really slow, catfishy water, for lack of a better word. Um, Hollowed, hollow trees, they, they love those. And they don't just live where they're found, they flourish. This is a top predator. When you get a fish that this is this big in freshwater and you put it in other bodies of water that don't really have the same size as this, you're talking about an apex predator um, because of its size. It's just, it's an extremely large fish. Um, in fact, a light, I think, as I said, it was, um, it's one of the largest freshwater fish in the world. Um, there's very few that supersede it. Um, total length actually could possibly exceed 9.8 feet, um, which is about three meters with a max weight of over 200 kilograms, which is 440 pounds. Um, the largest accurate weight when I say accurate weight the one that's best been measured because there's a lot of old records of large ones caught but in medieval um, times there are paintings of just monstrous was catfish but you, it's hard to do that but the largest accurate rate weight that we've ever gotten was 144 kilograms which is 317 pounds and that one was 2.78 meters, 9.1 feet in length. Um, that's a monstrous fish. Now, most adults are actually somewhere between, around the 1.5 meter range, which is about five feet or so, a little under five feet long. Um, fish longer than two meters, six and a half feet are extremely rare, um, very, very rare. Um, 
and at at that meter and a half they're normally weighing about um, 15 to 20 kilograms which is about 35 to 45 pounds when they reach the two meter mark that's when they're starting to get to that 65 kilogram you know 140 pound range um, so there's a lot of variation um, but they can get monstrous monstrous in size um, if you haven't been able to tell from this they're a little varied in color um, but they're primarily this grayish greenish a little bit of speckling maybe a little lighter belly it's they're kind of like they're some of the most bland colorations you're ever going to get in a fish um, there are albino ones that are known to exist in the wild and they occur rather naturally and they still seem to survive relatively well as far as albinos go so that's kind of an interesting fact most albino um, most albino animals wind up dying very early on um, like all catfish they do have these barbels or whiskers um, they have two extremely long large whiskers um, barbels here and then they have these four right on the chin um, and those as you know are used for sensory organs um, they have a roundish head uh, not really flat just more kind of rounded wide nostrils small eyes they got catfish teeth big mouth they got these it was something that's actually kind of interesting most catfish have their pectoral fins sat rather low the pectoral fins of the Wells catfish is actually set almost right behind the head and when you combine that and these are pretty powerful fins and when you combine that with this elongated anal fin in the small caudal fin they actually swim very similar to a eel like it like an eel very in a very eel like manner so they can swim backwards up down using that anal fin as their primary mode of propulsion and using their pectoral fins as well to help them maneuver and get things around there so they it's really interesting actually how they swim they're a little more adapted for minute changes as compared to like the channel catfish of North America um, they are a relatively invasive species in large part not only due to their apex predatory nature but also from the fact that people love to transplant them for extra fishing opportunities but they're extremely pro prolific spawners um, a female can produce up to 30,000 eggs per kilogram of body weight. Um, that's a lot of eggs. Um, that's a lot of eggs. Let's just be honest. 100 kilograms uh, fish, or let's say a 50 kilogram fish, you're talking about 150,000 eggs. Yeah, I know math. Sometimes. Um... But something that is interesting is actually the males guard the nest. Um, most catfish are not actually that big on nest guarding, but the male actually does guard the nest on this one. Really interesting. But now for the interesting facts that we're gonna end the video on. Um, what exactly does this fish eat? Well, just kind of about anything they can. Um, fish, frogs, they've been known to eat roadkill. Um, they eat small pets, like small little dogs or cats um, yeah they've eaten small dogs just be aware of that um, they'll they've been found to eat sheep whole they'll eat cannibalism they'll eat the, anything and they actually use their smell in hearing to hunt um, this fish has one of the I think it has the most taste buds of any animal in the world don't don't exactly quote me on that but I feel like I saw that around there um, but something that else is interesting, they actually use hearing to hunt as well. They listen for their prey as well. They have what is called a Weberian apparatus, and a lot of fish actually have these. They're bones that connect to the swim bladder that allow them to detect vibrations in the air. That's not exactly what we're going to end the video on. The real thing that we're, or not, the real interesting fact is they've been known to eat birds and pretty well and i should have thrown this picture up here you can see this this fish is he's almost choking but he's going to swallow this and eat this i believe this is actually a fish a wells catfish from the um chernobyl cooling plant lakes maybe eating 
tent or something i don't know i just saw when i pulled this picture up i believe it did say this one was from chernobyl maybe maybe not because this doesn't quite look like something so if you find something great but they've been known to eat birds and what's even cooler there's a video so you can see here you can see those wells catfish right in the shallows and you see these pigeons coming up and you can actually see they're grabbing pigeons and trying to take them down um they're not being that successful but there's not too many fish that you know of that are going to do something like that so and the fact that they're successful at all is rather impressive so i believe when scientists were looking at this video the longer video they determined that the fish were about 28 percent successful so the fact that you always hear and i've talked many times about yeah this fish has been known to eat bats or birds and everything's so like rarely do you get something like that on video so i thought that was really cool and i thought that was the perfect interesting fact in the video on but thank you guys so much again i really appreciate it i hope to see you again if i don't please be safe have a great day please leave a like comment and subscribe if you do i'd really appreciate it hope to see you again loving the support thank you so much guys take care of yourselves take care of your loved ones and peace.